Morning, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back down here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Classroom. I thought what we'd do today is we would do another pine bark project today, and I would show you how to make a pine bark blade cover for your carving knife. And this is a Mora 510. It is a very good small carving knife for doing craft work. You can leave this in a regular sheath. You can have a sheath made for it, or you can craft your own sheath for it or blade cover for it made out of pine bark that you can then put into a tool roll or something like that. And sheaths like that were made from birch bark traditionally in Scandinavia, but we don't have that type birch here in the Eastern Woodlands where I live, but we do have pine bark. So we're gonna make the same style sheath using pine bark to make it. Stay with me. So real quick to give you an idea of what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a strip of bark that is the width of our blade here. And we're going to make it long enough that we can fold it into M configuration. So, or W configuration, if you want to look at it like that. So it's going to be kind of like this when we're done. And when we sandwich that together and sew it up, this will be the spot where our blade goes into. So the handle of our knife will be out here. The blade will be in here. This will be sandwiched together and then laced together to create the knife sheath. You'll understand that better when I show it to you. So looking at this blade, we have basically right at four inches. So we need four times that much. So we need a 16 inch piece of pine bark. I've got a couple pieces here and it only needs to be wide enough for this blade to slide into it and a little bit wider. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a yardstick on here real quick and see how much length we've got. And remember we need 16 inches, which is about right up to here. So we'll just go ahead and give ourselves just a little extra there and we'll slice that there. Look that we're kind of even there and we'll slice it right down there, just like that. Get quite cut through right there, there we go. That's going to give us a large enough piece that we can now fold this thing in half, first of all, basically like this. And then we can kind of trim things up and see where we're at. So we'll cut this down this direction like this, first of all. And then we'll come over and trim this side down, even with this one, flattened out. And we really are wider than we need to be, and that's fine. We can always take some width off of that here in just a minute. That's easy enough to do. Because we only really need it wide enough for this thing to go into. We got a knot right here. We're going to go ahead and cut that off. Come down through this bad boy and get rid of all of that. Get this thinned out where we want it to begin with. We cut it a little wider than we needed it. Okay, now. Now that we've done that, we need to fold it halfway down this direction, like this, and halfway down this direction, like this, and then fold the whole thing over like this, and squeeze it together. And then once we sew this up, our blade will sit in here just like this, and this will be our bark cover for our knife when we're done, okay? We should have plenty of room to shove it all the way in there without coming through the bottom. And I believe we do. So we're good there. Now we can kind of make sure that we're good and even everywhere and we can trim off any excesses that we may have because we still have a little excess here that we can get rid of. Just to neaten things up. Turn this thing around. See, we've got some excess on this side we can get rid of. Okay. Now, we're in pretty good shape for what we want. This is what we want to end up with when we're done, is this, okay? Now we're just ready to lace this bad boy up. 
Now we can lace this up with a piece of bark, or we can lace this up with some type of lacing, like sinew, artificial sinew, bank line, anything like that would work. But to stay traditional, we're gonna to try to use pine bark. So we'll start off here with something about an eighth of an inch wide. And we'll come down through here and we'll cut that off. Just like that. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, as long as it's close. And that gives us one to start off with. And now, we're gonna just pinch that dude right between these two to start, just like that, okay? And this first wrap is gonna go around the outside like this and through this inner flap here, basically like this. Okay, and that's gonna be the way we're gonna start this thing. And we'll pull that down tight. Get everything shored up. And then when we come around this next time, we're going to go through in weaving fashion this way, underneath. And when we come around this time, we're gonna be on the outside like this. And then again, on this side, we go to the inside, like this. And we're pulling all of this tight. Every time we go around here, we're pulling everything tight, okay? And we come around this time because we're on the outside. We split this and we go to the inside. Just like this. We pull it tight. And then back to the inside. And down tight. To the inside here. Probably gonna take more than one piece of bark to do this. And then this one goes to the outside. And you can see now we need another piece of bark. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed one in right there. We'll cut another one off. About the same width. Just like that. And what we'll do is we'll come right over top of this one, just like this. We'll slide it right in behind that one so that it's on top of it and pinched in there just like that. We'll cut this one off right here. Just like that. And we'll come right over top of that thing just like this and wrap over it. And now we're to the outside. Okay, and now we're going to the inside again. As we get up this thing, it's gonna be a little tighter, a little tighter every time to try to get this pine bark into. There we go. The fact that it's wet is helping out a lot. Keep everything tight, keep everything short up. And now this time we need to go in between again. So this time we're going in here. Just like that. And then on the outside, you wanna make sure that all of this stuff is tight. Every time you come around here, you wanna make sure it's tight. This is to the outside. Now we're going back to the inside. And this one's gonna be a little tricky to get in. There we go. We got in there, okay. Pull that thing good and tight. And now all we need to do is really come make a little bit of a half hitch right there and come underneath it with this, just like this. Pull that down good and snug. I like to come in here and do a half hitch all the way down. So I'll come across this one and put a half inch in there. Go around the outside. Put a half inch in here, just like this. 
and then cut it off right here so the tail's even. Give myself just a little bit of play there because your bark's gonna shrink up a little bit. And when you're done, and when you're done with this, you'll have a nice pine bark sheath for your knife. And you can just let that thing shrink and dry. It'll be good to go. Okay, guys, listen, I appreciate you joining me for this quick video on how to make a simple pine bark knife sheath. Works very, very well. When it dries out, it will shrink a little bit on you, which will tighten everything up, or should. You can always unlace it and tighten it up a little bit if you need to later on down the line. Bark will still be a little bit flexible for a couple days until it dries out, maybe three days, something like that. But it will give you a permanent cover for your sheath with a material that's available in eastern woodlands if you don't have the luxury of having birch. Pine bark will do a lot of the same things for you. And this is white pine bark, okay? I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.